So guys, good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you for asking you. Mm -hmm. Pretty well. Thanks. Thank for us. Okay, guys. So, well, unfortunately, this will be our last class together. This is the last one again. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know. To be honest, I don't know if I'm going to be with you the next level. I have to wait <laughs> to to know if I will or not. Okay. So, but I hope. <laughs> I hope. Yes. So this is the last class and the idea for today's class is to make a review, like a general review about all the topics that we study during the, the pre-intermediate level. So you, the idea is that you, you are ready to start the next level, right? That is the intermediate classes. So, but, Let's try it. Okay. Um, if I ask to, let's see, Damari, tell me, do you remember when we used the expression who? When we use who? When I use or, or what? The use, yes. When you use who? In which situations we use wo? In, I use wo in, uh, I don't remember the words. Uh, mm, it's not for. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, don't worry. Now let's see, Adelina, do you remember when we use wo? Uh, we use wool when um, uh, oh, I don't know, teacher. It's not for the desires. Cuando van a pasar cosas en un futuro. No sé. In future, yes. Sometimes we used to talk about future, like probabilities. Or okay. desires. Uh -huh. Like when you say, I would like to travel to, I don't know, Japan. Uh, December. Okay. For example. I would, like, I would like to travel on December. Yes, that could be an example. Okay. Uh -huh. So, wool is an auxiliary bird that has many uses, guys. It's to talk about desires. It's to talk about a some conditions uh, like hypothetic situations uh, also when you invite someone to do something would you like to go with me it's an invitation a request so it has different uh, moments when we in which we can use this expression so let's practice a little bit with this we're going to have questions and try to answer them with the structure okay if i ask Abby, tell me, would you like to become a famous person? Yes, no, and why? Um, I don't remember what is the meaning become, teacher. To become, convertirse. Ah, no, I wouldn't. You wouldn't? Mm, uh, why not? Because I prefer to live um, a whole simple person. Like a simple person? Okay, a quiet life. Mm -hmm. Quiet life, okay. Yes, it's valid. Me neither. I wouldn't like <laughs> to be a famous person. Yes, okay, thanks. Now let's see, David, would you like to be what? Well, now this one is not valid because we are adults. But tell me, 
What would you like to be uh, in five years? I would like to be a, a bilingual person. Um, okay. I, I would like to travel and practice the English language. Okay. Yes, very good. Yes, that's valid. Good. Yes, that's the purpose. You can do it. Okay, thank you. Now let's see, Damari. Which new language? Would you like to learn? You're studying English, but would you like to learn another one? Or maybe improve English? Mm -hmm. Tell me. Huh? Yes, the money. <laughs> try it, try it. Don't Sorry. be afraid. Sorry, teacher. I could like new language, for example, Hillary. And Portuguese. Okay. I Italian? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's that's really beautiful language. Yes, it is. Uh what about French? Would you like to learn French? Damari? You don't like French? Or would you like to learn French? Mm -hmm. I don't like teacher. You don't like it? Mm. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Good, that works. Now, let's see, next one. Adelina, help me with this. Would you like some water right now? Or no? Yes, I would like some water right now because it's, it's hot. It's too hot, yes. <laughs> It is. <laughs> I hope today it rain, but no, <laughs> it doesn't look like look like it's going to rain. So, <laughs> okay, good. Now let's see next one. Abby, what would you like to receive for your next birthday? Um. I would like to receive um, money. <laughs> okay. Yes, that's a good, good present. <laughs> yes. I would like to. <laughs> okay. Now, Adolfo, help me. Let's see. Uh, yes, Adolfo. Where would you like to live in five years? Mm, I would like live mm, maybe in San Benito. Mm -hmm. That could be. Yeah, that's a good place. Okay, perfect. And let's see, David, would you like to be a millionaire? Yes, I would like to be a millionaire. <laughs> of course, all of us, right? <laughs> that's a dream. <laughs> okay, guys. So remember, the use of wool, well, basically wool, we use it to talk about requests. Uh, when you invite someone, uh, when you talk about desires or wishes. Would you like to be millionaire? That's a desire or it's something that we wish, okay? Or would you go with me to the concert? That is a request. I am inviting someone to do something with me. Okay, because you want to be with that person. That could be a friend, that could be family, whoever, co-worker, classmate, anything. Okay, so.
So that is basically the use of this structure, wool. Okay, do you have questions about wool? Questions, guys, or no? No teacher. No teacher. No teacher. Okay. No teacher. Okay, very good. So now the next one. Okay. We're going to practice a little bit with simple present. Okay, let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to have some flashcards and I will send it to you individually. For example, I will select, uh, that could be Adelina, and I will send her a card, one card on the chat. And she's going to describe the movie, describe the film to your partners. And the rest of us has to guess, we have to guess what is the name of the movie or what's the movie, okay? So it's a little activity. You're going to describe using present, well, simple present, okay? Yes, question? Okay, teacher. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Okay, teacher. Okay, good. Now let's see, I will select, okay. So Abby, you're going to be the first one. Okay, go to the chat, Abby. The message, only you can see the message. Okay, so help me with this one. This, don't say the name of the movie. Describe to your partners the movie and they have to guess what's the name of the movie. What is the name of the movie? Okay, um, the people travel in a cruise. You can use the, 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 the script. Uh, La comparto o como? No, no, no. You can use the text in the, in the car. Lo leo entonces o como? Yes. Uh -huh. Ay, have, perdón, you, Okay, I will explain. <laughs> You have to read and you have to add more details. Okay. Okay. Uh, a woman meets a boy in a boat. They fall in love. And iceberg hits the boat. The woman sur survives, but the boy dies in the ocean. Titanic. It's Titanic. <laughs> Titanic. <laughs> Yes, exactly. Very good. That is okay. Yes, guys. That is Titanic. Very good. Okay. And who wants to be the next one? Tell me. Volunteer. I need another. <laughs> Thank you, Gabby. Let's see. Who's the next one? Who wants to describe the next? I need a volunteer. Huh? Me teacher. Okay, good. So, Demari, tell me with this one and your class may have to guess. That will be a little bit difficult because of the name. An African prince go to the United States to fight a while. He meets a woman and he falls in love. Mm -hmm. Any idea? Repeat, please. In Africa, prims go to the United States to find a whip. Why? 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 He, he meets a woman and he falls in love. In this movie, appear or um, aparece Hugh Jackman. Who? Right, in, in this film, uh, aparece Ring or uh, Hugh Jackman. Appears? Appears Hugh, Hugh Jackman. Um, 
No. Teacher uh, is family honeymoon. Uh, no. no, it's not. Okay, oh. I will give you a clue. It's a comedy movie. <laughs> Damari, have you ever watched the movie? No, teacher, I don't know. No? <laughs> ah, so you cannot add word it is. Okay, I will show you one of the main characters in the movie. He, he appears in the movie, Eddie Murphy. Un príncipe en Nueva York. Yes, <laughs> that is, <laughs> exactly. That's the, uh, give it. yes, that is. Mm-hmm. Eddie Murphy coming to America. That's the name of the movie in English. And yes, that's it's, it's Un Principe en Nueva York. <laughs> so that's that was it. Okay, very good. Who who this who gave me the answer? Abby, right? Or who? No. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, good. So you have the the previous. Who gets the previous? Let's see, I'm going to take points. La anterior, ¿quién es Damari? Adivina la anterior. ¿Titanic? Creo que fue Dama, eh, Damari y Adelina, creo que las dos. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. And this one, Abby, right? Yes. Ok. So, guys, who wants to be the next one? I need next, the next, to select the next. Right. Okay, David, very good. Um, that would be, they are, they are not, well, 2000 movies, something like that. So to give you a clue, they are not new movies. They are a little bit eh, older. So David, you say, right? Yes, yes. Okay, so go ahead. Next one. Mm, about a man and a woman communicates with email but they don't know each other they fall in love okay mm -hmm. any idea have you ever watched a movie david not sure. No. Mm. Can you tell the name of the actors, the actress, and the actor? The actors are Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. Okay. In the movie appears Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. A man and a woman communicate with emails, but they don't know each other, but they fall in love. Any idea, guys? Tom Hanks appears in the movie. Mm -hmm. No? No, teacher. No, teacher. <laughs> no, idea. <I didn't> yeah. <laughs> okay, David, tell the name of the movie. You got mail. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will show you which one it is. It's this. You've got mail. Have you ever watched the movie? No. Yes, yes. I watch it. No. <laughs> no, okay. no, teacher. <laughs> so maybe that's the reason why you didn't know. Okay, let's see the next one. Okay, thank you, David. 
Who wants to be the next? Who? Tell me. Your teacher. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, I will share on the chat. Uh, let's see. Okay, go ahead. Okay, okay. Um, the kings die and his son feels responsible. The son runs away, but he returns many years later. The son becomes the king. It's a comedy. Repeat, please. Okay, okay. Uh, the king dies and his son feels responsible. Responsible. The son runs away, but he returns many years later. The son becomes the king. Mm -hmm. It's not comedy. Okay, okay. No, it's an uh, animated movie. Well, had two versions in real person and animated movie. Uh -huh. In that case, you can say live action. Live action. Uh, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Live action and, uh, well, the animated movie. Animated movie. Huh? Uh, maybe <laughs> I think El Rey León. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Very good. Yes, it's the Lion King. Exactly. The king dies, and his is and his son feels responsible. <laughs> the son runs away, and but he returns many years later. Remember, and the son becomes king. Yes, exactly. That was the movie. <laughs> Okay, guys, so let's see the next one that will be Adelina. Me, teacher. Help? Okay, <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, let me share on the chat. Okay, let's go to the chat. Mm. Okay. Yes, go ahead. Mm -hmm. It's on the chat there, the picture of it. Hello, hello. What happened? Ah, uh, sorry, teacher. Okay. Ahorita, 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 ahorita. <laughs> Ah, no, teacher, no, no. Y si me lo envía WhatsApp. Ah, ok, ok. Send me, send me a message, please. Envíe un mensajito para enviarle rápido. Ok, ok, ok. Okay, so I will Okay, let's see. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Go ahead. Hi. No, teacher, mi teléfono me falla. 
Why? You cannot see. Sorry. Ah, ahorita, her. ahorita. Ay. Yes or no? No, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> okay, don't worry. <laughs> uh, who say me? Tell me. Don't okay. Okay, okay. I will. So, okay. <laughs> Help me with next. Don't worry. Okay. A uh, girl flies to read and go to school. She discovers that she has power. She uses her power to scar and cruel teacher. Mm -hmm. So guys, tell me what's the movie? What's the name of the movie? Can you repeat, please? Okay. A girl flies. To read and go to school. She discovered that she has powers. She uses her power to scar a cruel teacher. Hmm. It's about a little girl. Hmm. Matilda. <laughs> no, see, <Sí>, no. <laughs> yes. That's the movie, exactly. It is. Okay, very good. Yes, it's Matilda. Okay, so let's see with the next one. I will ask to David. You will help me. Okay, David. Go ahead. We cannot hear you, David. I don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. No, David, I don't know. I can't. Maybe check the, the earphones if you are using earphones. Now, try it. Mm. Hi. Yes, now yes, I can. Okay. We can hear you. An ugly respect a princess, the princess turned into an ugly every night. The ogre and the princess fall in love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, guys, what is it? What's the name of the movie? An ogre rescue a princess. The princess turned into an ogre every night. The Trek. ogre. Trek. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's the name. Exactly. Okay. Very good. Now. Ah, oh, this is a classic. Okay. I will send it to Abby. Help me with this one. Okay. Abby, go ahead. A kid discovered that he is alone in his house. Two thieves try Five. to enter. Come? Types. Types. Ah, two types try to enter the house. The kid defends the house with traps. Mm 
Uh -huh. Another, ¿cómo se dice? Pista, pinche. Another cute. Uh -huh. Another cute is um, Merry Christmas. Yes. It's on Christmas night. Uh -huh. It's a classic movie. Every single year we watch. <laughs> At the range? Um, no. No. Home Alone. Oh, okay. Home Alone. Yes, exactly. <laughs> that is it. Uh -huh. Home Alone. Yes, very good. So, as you can see in English, it doesn't have the same name that we, as well, the name that we gave it here in Latin America, right? Because in Latin America, it, the name is Mi Pobre Angelito. But in English, it's home alone. <laughs> so it's different. Nice movie. <laughs> yes, that's a classic movie. <laughs> okay. Now, okay, we're going to have a comedy movie. If you like comedy movies, you will know which one it is. Okay, I will ask to Adolfo, help me with this one, please. Okay, okay. Oh, all right. A group, uh, a group of men uh, consume drugs in a bachelor party. The next day, they don't remember anything. In this movie, uh, uh, appear, uh, a baby. Appear a baby. <laughs> At least in the first one, yes. There is a baby. ¿Qué pasó ayer? <laughs> yes. Sí. <laughs> exactly. That is, and do you know the name in English? What happened yesterday? Uh -uh, it's not the same. <laughs> <laughs> happened. No. Okay, I will show you. But that's a movie. Yes. ¿Qué pasó ayer? But in English, the name of the movie is The Hangover. The Hangover. Huh? And do you know the meaning of Hangover? Do you know the meaning? No? no, teacher. That means resaca. La resaca. En, en realidad la traducción es esa, la resaca. Pero como suena raro ponerles una película, ¿qué pasó ayer? Que prácticamente viene siendo la consecuencia. They don't remember because they were high and they drunk a lot of. So that's why. The hangover, la resaca. But in Spanish, we call it, ¿qué pasó ayer? because they don't remember. Okay, <laughs> so that, yes, that was the movie. Very good. And uh, what about a horror movie? Well, it's not horror at all, I think. It's more like, um, yeah, we can say, but I'm not sure it's that horror movie, but well, let's try it. Let's see, I will select. Somebody help me with this one. Okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. The money? Okay, teacher. A kill, a kill, sees the people. Uh, Psychologist, teacher? Psychologist. Psychologist helps the kid. The psychologist discovered that he is dead. Dead. In this case? Dead. Dead. Mm -hmm. dead. Okay. What's the movie, guys? El sexto sentido? Yes. <laughs> Very good. Si no sé cómo se dice en inglés. <laughs> oh, that would be the sixth sense. The six, this one is closer. Esta si no nos cambiaron la traducción. <laughs> Aquí sí es the sixth sense. El sexto sentido. Yes. Okay, yeah, that was the movie. I think it's the horror movie. I think yes, right? It is. Mm -hmm. I, well, I think that we can 
uh, classified as like horror movie. I think. What do you think? Did you watch it? Did yes. you watch? Okay. Did you like it? Mm, so so. Oh, but no. yes, I consider this a little poquito, sí, algo de terror. ¿Cómo sería? A little bit scary. A little bit scary. Uh -huh, a little bit scary. Yeah, there it is. It's supposed it's a horror movie. Wow, wow. Well, so so. <laughs> Something like that. Okay, guys. So you were really good at this, playing this. Okay. So in this exercise, we practice simple present because you were using the third word person, you were describing, uh, using adjectives, and well, basically simple present. And the last activity that we're going to have for today's class, that will be to practice this. Okay. A little bit, um, let's see, we, we practiced this one in one class, but the idea is to remember the verb in past. Okay, so let's see. But it's, uh, yes, okay. I will give you, what, what could be? Uh, that could be three. Minutes, this enough for five minutes. What do you think? Five minutes or three minutes to to prepare something? Five or three? <laughs> five minutes. Five. Okay. So we're going to take five minutes to prepare a description about what was your first job. You can add something else if you want, but I give you like uh some steps that you can describe. What was your first job? Talk about the information, for example, the name of the company, your responsibilities, if you like it or if you don't, and the time that you work there. Okay, remember, you can mix simple past and present perfect only if the activity is still related in the present. Okay, so. I will give you five minutes and then I will listen how you describe your first job experience. Okay, so give me a moment. I will put the timer. And you have five minutes. Okay. Okay, that would be, I will send it on the chat. The screenshot. Okay, of the activity. That's activity. Okay, and I will give you five minutes. Okay, go ahead, guys. Let's see. Okay, five minutes, and then I will listen to you.
Yes. Okay, guys. So time's up. Let's see. That will be the last activity for today. I want to listen to you. So let's start with Abby. Go ahead. And share with us. Okay, uh, in my first job, I worked in a hotel. Uh, the name is, uh, not the name. Ay, si ¿sí puedo decir is, verdad? Porque aún se mantiene. Mm -hmm. Yes, in this case. Ah, okay. The name is uh, Comfort in San Miguel. And my response. I, I, um, I was a staff clean and my responsibility, responsibilities was uh, cleaned 50 rooms, not 16 rooms. I swept, moved and shook in the room. I changed the um, lint, ropa de cama. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh, and, and I put the, the amenities in the room. And uh, in my case, yes, I, I liked work in this, work in this place. And, I worked for uh, five years. Okay, okay, very good. Thank you so much. Just don't forget my responsibilities where? Because it's plural. Mm -hmm. Responsibilities where? Responsibility in singular was. But the rest, that was pretty good. Okay, now let's see Adolfo share with us. Okay, okay. Oh, well, um, my first work, my first job was on a mobile app maker um, industry. Oh, or, um, or mm -hmm. well, my responsibility uh, was make a um, mobile app like a translator and a QR, 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 QR app to read QR code. Um, was funny and nice work this company. He, I worked for maybe five years. I can't remember that okay. the date exactly, but uh -huh. maybe five years. Okay, very good. So thanks for sharing. Very good. Now, the money. Okay, teacher. My first job was in 2016 at the ABX company. I made four sheets and other electrical products here. I didn't like my job because the people were very problematic. I finished teaching. Mm -hmm. okay. Sorry, my hey. dog is very <laughs> But did you finish? Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> yes, he's working. Okay, now David. Okay, sure. Okay. My first job was in a teleportation company. The name of this company was is Telemobile El Salvador. I was an accounting supervisor. My responsibilities were the administration of fixed assets. I prepared the journals, uh, run the processions, and the accounting clothes. I really like work there because I 
I, I like uh, 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 this 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 work because it's for my skills, and I was working in this company for twelve years. Only that. Picture. Okay, very good. Now let's listen to. Is missing? Who is missing? Adolfo? No. Who's missing? I see. Adelina, you're missing, right? Okay, teacher. Uh, my first job was in Ministerio de Economía en el subsidio del gas. Uh, my responsibilities were to transfer information to a database to provide the subsidio. Um, I, I met the daily objective and I like it because it helped many people to obtain the subsidio. Um, I, um, the time I worked there uh, was for three years, only that. Okay, very good. So. That was much better than the first time that we did this activity because now you know how to use simple paths perfectly. So in, when you start intermediate, most of the time the, the first unit, uh, it's a review. If you remember in the first unit, this pre-intermediate tree, you did a review about there is, there are countable, uncountable nouns with me. Right, so there is there are you study that topic in base. So probably the same happened in intermediate. You are going to have a review. That could be simple past, that could be present perfect. So try to study a little bit this week. I know that every every single time we have one week between uh, one level and another, but I hope you, you learn new things this level with me and that you enjoyed the classes too. So it was a pleasure guys to be with you uh, for another month. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be with you, but I hope to see you one more time, maybe in a next level. So I wish you much success and it was a pleasure guys. That will be everything. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, guys. Good evening, teacher. Bye, teacher. Good night. You're welcome. Bye, thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Thanks Thank for you. all, teacher. I hope to see you again. <coughs> I hope so. <laughs> Probably. We don't know it. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're going to wait. Okay. <laughs> so, guys, thank you for everything. And, well, I wish you the best for the next levels. I hope you have a great night too. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Good night, Take care. teacher. Bye. You too.